Hello sir, my name is Gitanjali and I am working on Guru Bhakti tradition here in the Department of Sociology and uh, Sociology which is very close to Indology academically. Uh, in that department we are still you know asked to look into the western theories written under Eurocentric hangover and whenever we ask for our own theories we are discouraged. It is said that why do you want to study your own grandmother? So in a scenario like this, how far do you think an academics can play a role in a sort of renaissance that you are talking about? So you should ask them, why are you studying the white man's grandmother? <laughs> I am reminded of something. Moralji Desai was interviewed when he was Prime Minister. He was interviewed on CBS 60 Minutes, which is a very provocative investigative show. Dan Rather, very dashing guy, he was interviewing him. So he, he asked him all the questions about his policy and all that. And there was this little sort of a thing about Moraji decided that he does this urine therapy. Yeah. So after the whole interview, towards the end he says, I, I, I hope you don't mind. I am going to ask you a personal question. I hope you don't mind. So Moraji Desai probably accepted it, expected it. So he said, yeah, go ahead. So I remember this show very well. So he says, it is said that uh, you uh, are uh, part of your healing, a part of your health system and so on. You, you drink uh, your own urine. So Maharaj Sai said, uh, he listed 15 or 20 pharmaceutical drugs in the United States. He said, these are all made from urine. And the difference is that these people are drinking somebody else's urine. <laughs> so I actually, actually, this made an impact on me. It made an impact on me. And then a year or two later, I was in downtown one pharmacy, just buying something. And Pichai, near the checkout counter, there was a big, loud shouting going on, which in America you don't find people shouting, shouting in public, you know, like that. Uh, maybe nowadays in the election they do, but normally in a, in a store they don't do that. They're sort of very quiet, well behaved. So there was a lady shouting at some the counter. So when she left, and all these people were looking very nervous, you know, in the store. When she left, I went to this fellow and I said, what happened? He said, she's very angry at us that uh, uh, she's been coming for so many years getting this medicine, drug. And she suddenly read this little, you know, this thing you have to roll out and read what's in the medicine. They tell you uh, this whole the tiny print, you need magnifying glass to read what's in the medicine. They disclose it in the medicine bottle. So she finally read it and it said that this is made from uh, the urine of a horse. Yeah. So she's shouting and screaming at us saying, you have been selling me horse piss all these years and you never told me that. It's your job to have told me that. Ah, you've been selling me horse piss and I've been having this. So the point being, ki you are taking the knowledge of your grandmother and he's there's a professor, Indian professor, got an inferiority complex and he's taking the knowledge of these white men's grandmother. The same. It is old knowledge. It is old knowledge from your tradition versus old knowledge from their tradition. You might.